All right, welcome to the All Day Energy Diets Community Cookbook cooking videos. I'm Uriel Kame. I'm excited to be with you. Uh, we're actually going to be preparing a number of awesome recipes throughout these videos. Today we're going to be starting off with the healthy huevos rancheros, which comes courtesy of my good friend Flavia Del Monte. As you're going to see with all these recipes, they take very, very little time to prepare. This one specifically, you can make first thing in the morning or pretty much at any time throughout the day. What we're going to need is an avocado, some lime, a couple different spices, and some hard boiled eggs, which I've taken the courtesy of already doing for you. So we're not gonna sit and watch eggs boil for 10 minutes. So anyways, they've been boiling for 10 minutes. They're sitting in cold water. I'm gonna bring those out in a second, but let's start off with the avocado. Um, just a couple simple kind of tools. You're gonna need a basic paring knife is all you pretty much need. You're gonna take an avocado and you're gonna give it a nice little uh, kind of cut down the middle and we're just gonna kind of twist it open and that's our finished product. Now we're gonna keep the avocado in the skin and we're just gonna discard the core. So here's, or the pit. Here's what we wanna do. You're gonna take your knife, boom. You're gonna get it like nicely embedded and then you're just gonna twist and it pops out. Pretty cool, right? So now you have these little avocado boats and I'm just gonna throw that in the garbage. Okay, so this will be our bowl for this recipe. Now if the avocados don't give you a lot of opening like these ones don't, then what you, what you can do is you can actually just take some of the avocado and uh, you can take it out of the avocado and eat it. So you're gonna find out that I, I'm really off the cuff. I'm not a professional chef, but I like to have fun in the kitchen. So as I finish chewing here, that's the first step. We're then gonna take a little lime. We're gonna squeeze the juice into the avocado. It really enhances the flavor and it prevents it from browning. Really awesome. So now that we have that, we're gonna grab a bowl and we're gonna make what Flavia calls her fajita spice rub. Now I don't have all the spices, but that's okay. And I want you to realize that if you don't have all the ingredients for these recipes, that's cool as well. What we do have, we will use. So we have some ground black pepper. So I'm just gonna grind it in there. We've got some sweet paprika. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of it in there. We've got some cumin. I'm gonna to toss a little bit in. And you know, herbs and spices, that's where it's at, guys. I mean, that's, that's, that's really what brings the flavors to all these dishes. We've got some chili powder, I'm gonna throw that in. So as you can tell, we're gonna have some really nice flavors here. And we have some thyme. And I believe she also calls for some oregano. If you have, you can throw that in there. So that is our rub. Again, you know, there's not much of it. You can put more in, we'll see how much we need. But I'm just gonna give that a little mix with my fork. And now that that's ready to go, we're gonna put the avocados aside. We're gonna grab the hard boiled eggs. And I'm gonna show you a cool little trick with the hard boiled eggs. Easiest thing to do is actually take a paper towel just in terms of cleaning up the mess, putting it on the cutting board, and you're gonna kind of just crack the egg over top of it so there's no mess all over. It's just in the uh, paper towel and then you kind of wrap it up and throw it in the garbage. Really cool, or in the compost. So um, when you're making hard boiled eggs, one of the dilemmas is, 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 peeling the, is peeling the egg off. So what you wanna do is before you put it in the water, just give with a spoon a little tap on top of the egg. It's gonna crack the egg a little bit. And what that's gonna do, I don't know the science here, but I do know that that really helps take the peel off the egg. So I've got two eggs. And when you do that, you'll notice that some of the egg kind of oozes out sometimes. That's okay, it's still good. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the egg, we're just gonna give it a little, couple cracks on top of the paper towel and watch how easily this comes off. Like it's literally like two seconds. So if you're pressed for time in the morning and you like hard boiled eggs, there you go, okay? <laughs> That's done. If you have any eggshell on there, you can just give it a quick little rinse and we'll take the next egg, same thing. It's almost as if the shell is just screaming to come off the egg. It's like, get me off. And sometimes if you lose a little bit of egg along with the shell, it's okay. It's, it's not the end of the world. And there we go. We have our two hard boiled eggs done. They were boiling for about seven minutes. Then I put them in very cold water for about two or three minutes. And I give them that little tap, obviously, before I put them in the water. Got the shells. I'm gonna throw them right into the compost. Done. Now, we're gonna take those eggs and we're gonna give them a nice little chop. So there's no 
you know, right or wrong way to chop uh, eggs as far as I'm concerned. Just chop them up, get them nice and small, because what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the avocado next. So we're just going to chop these guys up. Yolk and egg whites. And, and by the way, egg yolks are actually really good for you. So don't let anyone scare you into believing that they're dangerous and they're going to, you know, boost your cholesterol. Um, that's really where all the nutrition is. And cholesterol from food is very, very um, insignificant in terms of its effect on blood cholesterol. So anyways, we're going to take the eggs. We're going to put them into the rub. And I'm just kind of scooping them up with a knife here. There's probably a more efficient way of doing this, but this is actually pretty good. Just going to take that all in. All right. So now we're just going to, it, this almost becomes like an egg salad. So you can do a couple things here. You can just kind of mix it up like this, or you can kind of, you know, press them down a little bit more. It's really almost egg salad. It's up with the rub. Last little bit there. So you can get them nicely combined, get them nice and small, and work that spice in. And then we have the eggs or the huevos ready to go. So what we're gonna do is, again, if you've carved out a little bit more hole or opening in the avocado, or if you have an avocado that already has a big hole, you're just gonna take the eggs and uh, let's get a little plate out here. Put the plates underneath the avocado and we're just going to put in the eggs into that little opening right there. So we'll do that the same thing on the, uh, on the other one as well. But basically you have this kind of little avocado boat. The eggs are inside. You probably have some eggs left over, which is okay as well. And to finish off, we're gonna top it off with some nice salsa. So you can make some homemade salsa. You can, uh, you can buy some organic, you know, good salsa in the store. If you like spice like I do, you can top it off with some Tabasco sauce or some kind of nice cayenne pepper to really, you know, give it a nice kick. And there we go. So let's give this a shot and let's see uh, if Flavia knows what she's up to with this, with this good recipe. Very nice. Very simple recipe to make. Your kids will enjoy this as well if you have. And it contains, excuse me, the protein and the fat as well as great nutrition to get your day started. This will take you about five minutes to make after the things have boiled, and there you go. Healthy huevos rancheros, give that a shot, enjoy. <laughs>